Welcome back to Pocket Rock. Hey, where are you going? It's just math. Don't run away. Hey, hey. Oh, well. Okay, now I'm going to derive the quadratic formula for you. Here I have the quadratic formula up here, but I'm going to show you how we get the quadratic formula so that you just don't have to take my word for it that this is a quadratic formula. I'm going to show you how you get it from completing the square. Okay, so let's say we start out with this standard equation where a, b, and c are my coefficients. And so when you com I'm going to complete the square doing this. Okay, and then once I complete the square, I will get the quadratic formula. So the very first thing when you complete the square is you do not want this coefficient out in front. You want a coefficient of 1 in front of your x squared term. So therefore, we would have to divide everything by a because we do not want this to be a, have a coefficient. a divided by a is just 1x squared, or just x squared, I'm not going to write the 1, plus b over ax plus c over a equals, what is 0 divided by anything? Still just 0. Now, do you remember how we completed the square? The first thing we wanted to do was to get rid of this and move it to the other side. So I'm going to subtract c over a to both sides. So that goes away. So now I have x squared plus b over ax plus I'm going to add something to fill in the blank to complete the square. And then on the right, 0 minus c over a is still just negative c over a. Whatever I add to this side, I have to add to the right hand side as well. Okay, now, how did I fill in this blank? I took half of this and then squared it. So I want one half of b over a. Well, one half of b over a is b over 2a. Okay, so one half of b over a is b over 2a, and then I need to square it. So b over 2a squared, and then I have to add b over 2a squared right there as well. So, erase this so I can have room. So on this side, the next thing we did when we completed the square was factor. We factored this whole thing. If we factor this, it's x plus, remember, the idea of completing the square is that you're going to have parentheses squared. Well, the square root of that is that, and then I just take the square root of this, which is what is in the parentheses, which is b over 2a. I basically just took this and factored it to parentheses squared. So, and then on the right-hand side, we still have negative c over a plus squaring this fraction. Remember, square the numerator and square the denominator. The numerator squared would be b squared. Squaring the denominator, 2a times 2a is 4a squared. Okay, so on the right-hand side, we have negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared because I square the numerator and then I square the denominator. Now to add fractions, I have to make a common denominator. So I have a 4a squared here. I need this to be a 4a squared. So I have to multiply a 4a to that and a 4a to that. All right? So now I will have a negative 4ac, I'm putting my letters in alphabetical order, all over 4a squared plus b squared over 4a squared. Now that I have a common denominator, I can combine my numerator. Negative 4ac plus b squared all over 4a squared. If I rewrote this as b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared, is that the same thing? Is this and this the same thing? Yes, they are. The numerators are the same. I kept my positive sign with my b and my negative with my 4ac, okay? So we are actually going to use this side of the right side, and you can start seeing how it's looking more like the quadratic formula. On the left, we have x plus b over 2a squared. Remember my idea, or not the idea, the goal is to get x all by itself. We are solving for x. So we want x on one side and everything else on the other. So we need to get rid of our square. How do we get rid of our square? By taking the square root of both sides. So that means we have to take the square root of this. 
So that and that cancels, and on the left we have x plus b over 2a equals, when we take the square root, what do we do? We put a plus or a minus in front of it. And then when we do the square root of a fraction, you have to do the square root of the numerator and you do the square root of the denominator, okay? Can I simplify the square root of the numerator anymore? No. But can I simplify the square root of the denominator? Yes. So I have x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then the square root of 4a squared would be 2a. Now I need to subtract this to the other side. So minus b over 2a makes that go away and subtract this minus b over 2a. Hallelujah, I already have a common denominator. So all I have to do is rewrite it all over one denominator, but instead of writing this first, I'm going to write my negative b first. That negative can essentially go up here with the b. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and that was x equals, and that is how you get quadratic formula from completing the square.